Welcome back to the Ninth Gym program, and today we are going to be looking at Dedenne in both VGC and singles. We have, you know, damage calcs and uh, speed tiers as well, so, you know, if that's something you're looking for, stay tuned. So, Dedenne, what does it do? Well, you know, it's an electric fairy type Pokemon, which is pretty cool. It has the ability plus, as well as the ability cheek pouch, both are pretty solid. Plus being whenever it's next to a Pokemon with plus or minus, then it gains... 50% special attack, which is very, very significant since the Pokemon doesn't have a great special attack stat sitting there at 81. Not super damage dealing, but has good uh, support type attacks as well as supportive attacks that do deal damage and will gain that buff next to a Pokemon like Kling Kling, you know, Toxtricity, Manectric, anything like that. So, you know, Dedenne gets some cool stuff. Dedenne did unfortunately lose a really, really powerful tool that it had, being the attack Recycle. It no longer gets that move, which was very good for the Cheek Pouch version of Dedenne. However, now I don't think it would be the optimal way of using it anyway. Um, but, you know, still a valuable asset that it just lost. Anyway, let's look at Dedenne. So, Electric Fairy typing is pretty solid, you know, giving us one immunity of Dragon and two weaknesses of Poison Ground, and then five resistances, which is pretty good. Pretty good defensive typing, also pretty good offensive typing. Not bad typing. Now, looking at its stats, it's pretty bad, just across the board, except speed. Speed's good. So, we have HP at 67, which is very low, defense at 57, and then special defense once again at 67. All around, its bulk is just not very good. Very meager bulk. We are using Focus Sash for this Pokemon, so none of our damage calcs are going to be defensive because it's basically just everything two shots you because they hit you to your Sash and then you die. So, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, offensively, this Pokemon's not the worst, not great, but not the worst. You know, special attack at 81 is not great, but with that pl plus 50%, not the worst. You know, and then we have our stab boost as well, not doing terrible damage, actually pretty pretty all right damage, and we'll talk about that more at the damage calc section, but not bad. Speed at 101 is pretty solid. You know, we outspeed a lot of really good Pokemon, things like Charizard, um, you know, Durant, um, not Durant. Durant's actually outspeeds us. Uh, whatever. We'll talk about this a little bit more when we get to the speed tier section. For now, let's go ahead and move on to the VGC set. Um, and let, uh, let's talk about it. So, VGC set. We are running that ability plus like we are talking about. You know, pair it next to something like Toxtricity or Clang Clang. And then you're doing a lot of damage with both Pokemon. Pretty good stuff. You also have Focus Sash here. Of course, giving us that little bit better bulk. Since our bulk is abysmal. So, we have a couple of different item options as well. Of course, we have Citrus Berry if you want to go with the ability Cheek Pouch. Cheek Pouch, I didn't talk about this yet. Cheek Pouch, what it does is whenever you consume a berry, you gain an additional 30 per, or 33% HP, which is really good. Essentially turning, uh, you know, Citrus Berry into a Pinch Berry plus Citrus Berry, which is pretty insane. It's a lot of HP back. You know, 25 plus 33, 58. Quick maths. That's a lot of HP back. 58% that's pretty good and once you hit 50% so if you just drop half your HP you go back to max HP which is pretty cool yeah I like that but like I said you know we lost recycle so we can't get our berry back so we kind of lose you know the whole pinch berry peak uh, or cheek pouch yeah we lose the the cheek pouch stuff which kind of sucks but it's okay you know it opened the door of the ability plus minus making Dedenne actually hit pretty hard with you know your partner Pokemon so let's talk about some moves for this Pokemon in our set in general so we are using the ability not the ability the attacks nuzzle electro web dazzling gleam and ally switch so this is a pretty pesky set we have nuzzle of course to give us guaranteed paralysis on Pokemon and by guaranteed you know you know 100 accuracy it's pretty close to guaranteed Anyway, it's very good. You know, a fast nuzzle user is very good. We've seen that in Pokemon like Raichu. It's just good. It's a very good form of speed control. You know, of course, you don't hit those things that are faster than you. You know, not that many Pokemon now that they took out Dragapult and Cinderace. So, not that bad. I like it. Nuzzle's good. We have Electro Web also being a great form of speed control as well. But Electro Web essentially being Icy Wind, but it's Stab, it's Special Attack. It does good damage as well. I think it's what, base 50? Um, let me double check that, guarantee it, whoa, 55, not bad, hits both Pokemon and lowers both their speeds, pretty, pretty good stuff. Then we have Dazzling Gleam, once again hitting both Pokemon, doing pretty solid spread damage across the board with Dedenne. We have Dazzling Gleam at Stab, it does pretty solid damage, it gets the plus, um, you know, plus minus ability boost, pretty good stuff. And then last but not least, 
We have Volley Switch. I hate this move, but I think it's good on this Pokemon. You know, it, it gives you a little bit of additional support. Being able to, you know, take a huge ground type attack instead of your Clang Clang or Toxtricity next to you. It's a pretty big, you know, good thing for the guy. So, yeah, as much as I hate Ally Switch and, and hate putting it on a set, it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, let's look at some other options that we could put on this set instead because it is pretty customizable. You don't have to use any of these moves. The only moves that I would guarantee you should play is Nuzzle. That's my honest opinion. I think you need Nuzzle in this Pokemon. Other than that, it's kind of just, you know, fair game. I like this set. I think Dazzling Gleam is great. I think Electro Web is very good and Ally Switch is, you know, Ally Switch. But I think it's a pretty solid set. Let's look at other options. So we have Parabolic Charge, which is a pretty cool attack. It's essentially Giga Drain for electric typing. It's pretty good. It's not that great, but it's cool. We have Rising Voltage if you're going to be using something like Toxtricity next to it, um, you know, maxing it. That is Dynamax Toxtricity. Um, you know, if you're going to be setting the terrain for Electric Terrain, Rising Voltage becomes an insanely powerful move and busted with plus minus ability. It goes to 140 base power plus the 30% from the terrain plus stab plus plus minus ability. That's so many boosts. You're doing a lot of damage with Rising Voltage, and that's pretty cool. Next, we have Volt Switch. You know, being able to switch around is pretty good. Um, next, we have Protect. Of course, Protect is Protect. I like it. It's a good move. We have Eerie Impulse that lowers the special attack of a Pokemon, which is a pretty good thing. You know, getting rid of pretty strong, um, you know, threatening Pokemon. You're not threatening anymore. Pretty cool. We have Helping Hand giving us a little bit more damage. Of course, you know, that plus plus minus on Kling Clang makes it an absolute beast on damage makes it pretty good next we have charm making physical attacking pokemon you know not that not that threatening minus twoing them pretty good all these things are pretty good on a fast pokemon you know we hit 168 which is really really good speed tier having a fast charm eerie impulse or you know electro web ally switch nuzzle so many good things and i said ally switch but ally switch has priorities so it didn't even matter anyway our last move here is Tearful Look, which essentially is, um, you know, a uh, parting shot, but you don't switch out. You minus their special attack and attack stat of the target by one. Pretty good stuff. You know, hits both of them, you know, or it hits one Pokemon, but it hits both special attack and attack. So it could hit a mixed attacker. We don't have really any mixed attackers in the game, but, you know, it's cool. Uh, yeah, but, you know, Area Impulse and Charm both do the same thing, but hone down into more, more of a thing. So, you know. They're kind of better. Anyway, so EVs for this Pokemon, I went really basic. Uh, you know, Focus Sash and Bad Bulk means I kind of just wanted to go into Special Attack and Speed. So that's what I did. I went 252 into Special Attack and Speed, both just benefiting a lot. You know, four leftover into HP, just to make it, you know, a l I just put it there. Anyway, we went with the Timid Nature, giving us plus speed minus attack since we're not using any attack anyway. Now, Dedene... Wants to be as fast as possible. So we went with that nature and max speed. Makes sense. Anyway, that is going to be it for the VGC set. Let's go ahead and look at these two synergetic Pokemon in the bottom right corner. Now, I already pretty much talked about it. You know, they both have plus and minus. Um, Clang Clang is our first one. I think it's pretty solid. You know, Clang Clang is actually really solid right now because Porygon Z kind of just gets walled out by it. So that's pretty good. Next, we have Toxtricity. I like Toxtricity. I think it's cool. I think its G-Max move is really solid. And, you know, I think it's not bad. It does die to ground, though. And if you have this plus Dedene, you're going to lose the ground-type matchups. That's just going to happen. But, you know, we lost Excadrill, so that's cool. Anyway, let's move on. Now, speed tiers. We're pretty fast. Dedene is pretty fast. Like I've said a couple of times, you know, 168 is nothing to scoff at, especially when they just got rid of the top tier top speed tier Pokemon, things like Cinderace and Dragapult. Now, only a couple of really relevant Pokemon will be outspeeding us, things like Durant, Raichu, and Weavile. Of course, you know, we have our Weather Guys, of course we have our Choice Scarf Pokemon that are going to be naturally outspeeding Dedene, or not naturally outspeeding, outspeeding Dedene with that boost of, you know, whatever it is, you know, whether it's Swiss Swim Kingdra, whether it's uh, Chlorophyll Lilligant, you know, whatever. Dedene is getting outspeed by those. But that's fine, because we outspeed a lot of good Pokemon. Things like Charizard, Arcanine, Form Change Rotom, Kamoa, Duraludon. The list goes on. We outspeed a lot of things at 168. Now that we got rid of those top two Pokemon, you know, Cinderace and Dragapult, we are very, very fast in the meta. Hitting 168 is really, really solid. Not, not really anything else I got to talk about here. So let's move on to Damage Calcs real quick. So as far as Damage Calcs go, I didn't add it every single place, but... 
all of these are going to be plus boosted. Our damage is, well, to put it in layman's terms, our damage sucks. But with plus boosted, it's not that bad. So it's essentially a plus one. You're, you know, we're going to get 50% additional dazzling gleam into Urshifu. Let's go ahead and start it off with a really good calc into Urshifu fighting dark. Um, you know, the other one is not going to be as good damage output still really good damage output mind you so did any dazzling gleam into urshifu this is plus boosted so it's plus one plus max special attack did into urshifu we are hitting 190 to 227 that's a lot of damage that means we're probably gonna kill it even if it dynamaxes it's usually not gonna dynamax but still we can kill it if it does most like most likely anyway next we have plus boosted did dazzling gleam into draco's ult maxed draco's ult mind you hitting 45 to 53 now if it doesn't max we still have a small chance to oko but if it does max we're doing a pretty solid amount of damage into this big pokemon you know i think draco's ult you, you should definitely expect it a good bit in the meta in series six so you know dazzling gleam does a chunk which is good next we have uh did plus boosted of course rising voltage in electric terrain into pre-marina and i just realized that's not actually in electric terrain let me go ahead and change that back um because that's very very relevant we have 140 base attack which is very very good in the electric terrain let me go ahead and put that on there now into a dynamax terrain which it is it is dynamax we are hitting actually 80 to 95 percent which is huge that's so much damage like that's an insane amount of damage we are taking di the Dynamax Primarina right down. 80 to 95% damage is huge. And if we're setting the electric terrain with something else, we're doing a lot of damage. Now, I did not I did not feature Rising Voltage on my set. I just wanted to add this in because I think it's really big. Anyway, next, we have Dedene Electro Web into Talon Flame. Also plus one from plus boosted. Now, we are hitting 67 to 81 into its nine Dynamax form, which, you know, is pretty good damage considering we're just really lowering speed. It's really just, you know, something we do as a support move. It's like Icy Wind, essentially. So, if Icy Wind is doing that much damage to Pokemon like Ta Talonflame, which is top 10, you know, maybe top 20 in the meta currently. That's a lot of damage to that Pokemon. Very good stuff. Next, we have Daz uh, Dedene Dazzling Gleam from Plus Boosted into Grim Snarl. Now, this is just a random set I made. Um, I just put in a random number for special defense. But, you know, Ballpark there, we're hitting 50 to 60, 60 to 70, 70 plus damage. Very good. This is before screen. So, if, you know, you lead Kling Kling and Dedene, they're going to set light screen. And then you're going to do a lot less damage than this, but still relevant. Anyway, that is going to be it for our damage cocks. Let's move on to single spotlight real quick before I end the video. Now, let me go ahead and preface this with single spotlight for this Pokemon kind of sucks. Not going to lie. We lost with the move that I said earlier. Recycle. <laughs> we lost Recycle, which really, really sucks. This Pokemon used to just go substitute, recycle, boom. You're looking good. You Pattaya Berry. Pattaya Berry, if you don't know, when you go to fourth HP or less, you eat it you know it's a berry you eat it and then you gain plus one special attack now due to cheek pouch it also gives us 33 percent hp back which is very very relevant for our substitute game plan now we lost recycle so that's not really the game plan we're going for anymore so we're still just using cheek pouch and pataya berry but you know now we kind of just use attacks and this pokemon doesn't have much damage so it's just not that good in single spotlight pretty much is what i'm saying but if you want to use it in singles this is a good way of using it bolt switch thunderbolt dazzling gleam nuzzle doing a lot of damage with those moves nuzzle is not even that great in singles but you know it's it's fine um and then we just went with the same spread just 252 into special attacks in speed and then timid nature just to be as fast as possible anyway that is going to be it for the video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did hit that like comment subscribe do all of those things join me on discord follow me on twitter join my patreon if that's something you're about um you know all the relevant links will be in the description below if you do any of those things it makes my day a lot brighter and i hope this video made your day a lot brighter hopefully you enjoyed today if you do like it up subscribe it up do all those things all the things i just asked anyway thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoy your month the rest of this month it just started so I hope you have a good rest of the month. It's like 27 days. You know, most people would just say, hey, have a nice day. You know, I'm saying, hey, have a nice 27 days. Just saying. Anyway, that is going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.